now with the clock ticking slowly up to 7 a.m. It's going to be time to welcome Radio One's first daily show on 247 meters medium wave, whilst Breakfast Special continues on Radio Two. Ten seconds to go before Radio One, Tony Blackburn, and Radio Two, Paul Hollingdale, stand by for switching. Get tuned to Radio One or Two, five, four, three. Radio Two, Radio One, go. Radio One, Tony Blackburn. Twisting session. I say, come on, up you get there, out of bed immediately. Come on, no mucking about this morning at all. Up you get, come on. I said, out of bed, and uh, what I want you to do, first of all, I want you to salute a blown up photograph of myself. Now, if you haven't got one of these, then never mind. I hope you'll get one in the future. Salute it, that's it. Over you get to the window, a nice big breath. That's it. Take a nice big breath, open the window and tell everybody, just shout it out, that Radio One is wonderful, OK? La, 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 la. We love it on BBC. Ha! 247, Radio One, time for the weekend! Ha! 21 minutes past seven. You know that expression, the worst is yet to come. It's not true, I'm here. Five minutes past eight. Let's play this one for Alan Freeman, shall we, who very kindly rang up and said he was enjoying the show. Thank you very much, Alan, and uh, hi there to you. Number two this week in the Fun 30 from Radio 1, excerpt from a teenage opera, Keith West. How dare you sing what I'm talking about. Oh. Yes, 82 brings many fears. Excerpt from a teenage opera, and that of course comes from Keith West. Radio One time now, nine and a quarter minutes past eight o'clock, and I was hoping that perhaps Pete Murray might turn up this morning, but we haven't got Pete Murray, we've got Simon D. Oh, no. I know, imagine that, imagine that. <laughs> hey, what on earth are you doing at this time of the morning? Well, I thought I'd come and say what a fantastic job you're doing, Tony. I was listening to you in the car and everything, it all yeah. sounds groovy. You're That's working good. hard, aren't you? Yeah, well, we, it'll take a bit of time to settle down, you know, this being the first morning and everything. Right. Where, whereabouts are you on your way to? Well, I'm going down the centre in about an hour and a half. Got yeah. the old show tonight, you know. Mm -hmm. D times and things. Yeah, I tell you what, I told you yesterday actually, I said that if you if you turned up, I might put you on the spot. Yes, you did. So? <laughs> well, I thought, well, you know, you've been so nice turning up to oh, this show this morning. Hey, you look groovy. Johnny tonight. Dilling and myself, we're going to show up at your show tonight. Radio One, good time music. Right! Do you want a reply to that, Simon? No, 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 Tony, it doesn't deserve a reply. <laughs> I don't know how you can get out of that one, do you, really? You've got to try and get on TV any way possible, haven't you? <laughs> you can't die to Ross and the Supremes, the fabulous number called Reflections. Through the mirror of my mind, time after time, I see reflections of you and me. Johnny Moran with all the happenings of Seed and Heard. Seen 
Winners we've heard of this week include Miranda Ward talking with George Harrison. Humphrey Littleton gives his controversial views on pop. And look at the sensational crazy world of Arthur Brown. Behind the scenes chat with Where Is That DJ, Chris Denning. Plus fashion news and the Beatles story by George Martin. Pop news as it happens, new and exciting records to hear. So please stay here for the next hour with Seen and Heard. Now the Seen and Heard news desk for up to the minute pop news. Reporting for us are Miranda Ward and from Disc and Music Echo, Mike Ledgerwood. Traffic. A hole in my shoe which was letting in water. Traffic have been invited by Beatle Paul McCartney to star in their magical mystery tour, TV Spectacular, to be screened at Christmas. The group will shoot their own insert film featuring their next single, the movie song, Around the Mulberry Bush. Cliff Richard. Marie, with the laughing eyes, she tossed her hair and tantalized. She came to touch me, then she'd gone just like a summer breeze. Cliff Richard and the Shadows are to build a special 90-minute TV show around the Aladdin pantomime in which they starred at the London Palladium last year. It will probably be screened on Christmas Day. Beatles. All you need is love. Beatles are going into the boutique business. They're providing financial backing for a way out shop being opened in London in November by some hippie Dutch designer friends responsible for most of the clothes worn by Beatle wives and top stars like the Stones and Hollies. Mamas and the Papas. No one's getting bad except Mama Cass. Mamas and Papas are due to arrive in Britain any time. They are on their way here by sea from California. And with them is San Francisco man Scott McKenzie. A concert at London's Royal Albert Hall is being planned but the group recently announced they are soon to quit. And that completes our roundup of the up to the minute pop news compiled this week by Mike Ledgerwood and brought to you fast and factual on Seen and Heard. Right now, it's the best of what's new in LP records. And our pick this week is for the West Coast sound of the marvelous Jefferson Airplane. Radio One, David Simon. Ah, David Simon? Fantastic. Oh, careful, mother. The old ones are still the best, aren't they? I think I shall crawl back into my little hole and I shall forget forever the idea of doing anything new. That means music. I am the god of hellfire and I bring you... 1968. And now it's six o'clock on a Saturday night. But surprise, surprise, here's Mike Raven. With the same old R&B show. So watch out. Here we definitely go. And to start off this bright Saturday show, here's a new one from O.C. Smith, no less. Well, the path was deep and wide from footsteps leading to our cabin. Above the door there burned a scarlet lamp. Well, Nichols, it's Dave Cash. It is. Hello, Dave. Earl. Hello, Kenneth. How are you? I got a cold, man. You've got a one? Oh. oh. But that, and everything. Oh. Try this new remedy. Slap this over your conk. All right. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> He won't notice your nose from now on. Well, right. how are you, David? What are you doing? I'm uh, on the radio with Etrick Wireless every afternoon. Would you like to give yourself a puke? <laughs> yes. Okay, go on. Between 2 and 4.15 with Sounds Bob Rogers. Oh. On the street where you live. Ba -ba -dee -ba -dee -ba -dee. Do it again. I have often walked ba -ba -ba -dee -ba -dee -ba the street before. Jack -dee -ba -dee -ba -dee. But you don't this baby me, puppy. Before. You like a Sammy Davis impression? I think the BBC should have us on 24 hours a day, don't you? <laughs> You're right. Oh. What should we call this computer, Crisp? Well, uh, what about Cecil, sir? Why? Well, it's a very cultured computer. I was thinking of Phoebe. Fe well, no, sir, I don't think it's female. Do you think it's a male computer? Oh, very definitely, sir. It's that build. You've had a peek, haven't you? Yes. Ah! Crossy, I'm not anything. I <laughs> beg your pardon, uh, sir. It's all right. You just go. <laughs> Here's a record by the Turtles that I haven't heard before. My producer chose it, so if you don't like it, write to Johnny Feeling, go Broadcasting House, London West One, London. Well, okay? It started out and we're down south. Took a left turn and headed on out It was moving along very slow now Cause it was driving by word of mouth 